Welcome back to Anno 2205, where we're playing with the Taludas New Frontier mode, and that unlocks Mars. We're on Mars right now, and as you can see, the Mars crater is actually all basically 99% full. There is no space left on this thing, and it's a good thing because we are on the final mission. Mission 14 out of 14, we need to reach 70,000 Martian synthetics on you know this crater and we have 70,000 and also 50 it's basically one more house you know i added one more house just to be safe but yeah we've managed to reach this and if you look over here you know, you're gonna see everything is in positive nothing in the negative so it's looking good it's looking good we have what's left we have only 15 seconds left so count with me 10 9 8 7 6 5 four three two one and done martian no there's one more <laughs> how am i going to get one more there's no more space what the martian geo engineering program build and maintain for 20 minutes 70 okay so i guess i'm gonna have to fit a few more here a few more there and I'm going to have to delete some of this, basically. There's just not enough space. So, yeah, I'm going to have to delete some of these productions, which means that I'm going to have to do, you know, more productions on for this, for that, and uh, for this on the other uh, planets and bring it there. Because, yeah, there's clearly no more space. So give me a few minutes to do that. It is, ladies and gents, the crater is full. To be more precise, there is just a small space over here and a small space there. Everything else is full. And as promised, I had to delete also a couple of these research labs that were over here. Otherwise, there wasn't enough space to get to 75,000 Martian synthetics. We have done it. I kept it for 20 minutes, so we even finished that mission. But there's another one but it's an optional one load your vehicle with 99 <laughs> with 999 iridium from your spaceport and this is going to enable us i think to really uh, roll the spatial traits for the sector if i read it correctly let's see what happens uh what do we need to deliver it to the So I pick it up and I deliver from the same place. Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think the traits have changed. Yeah. It used to be the heavy industry there before. Now it is the electronic research lab. Uh, okay. But yeah, here it is, ladies and gents. We have basically finished the campaign with the new frontier mode. But as promised, there is one more thing I wanted to show you, which is, uh, and that's not good. This wasn't there one second ago. So I guess this is because of uh, what I just did. Let's uh, check. We need to send some qubits. Oh, I don't have five. So we're going to need to create five in the Arctic. Give me a second. Let's go to the Arctic. We will also do a very quick tour of... Uh, you know empire because definitely there has been some changing changes along the way qubits yeah yeah perfect and uh, this is positive positive perfect okay so yeah let's go now to the orbital station so i can show you what i've done and here it is ladies and gents we have used all of the orbital workshop kits and all of the orbital module kits and with this we actually have five of each we have 25 workshops now we don't have everything unlocked but we do have quite a few and by the way i even have almost 500 expertise left that we could be using now let's be honest this is not perfect right there is quite a few that are actually perfect if you look at this one um it is uh why is it not torn oh because i don't have enough uh, physicists okay sorry we're missing nine 
physicist astronaut, we have 231, but that's not enough. You need 240. <laughs> we have also, by the way, 100 of those biologists, and we have 175 of those engineers. But yeah, this one is basically perfect. This one is basically per is perfect, actually. This one also basically. So there's a lot that are perfect at the top over here. But then when you go over there, you're going to see that we're very close, but not there, right? Like this is very close to perfect, but it is not. Like the temperature is a bit too low. Similarly, for this one, it has everything, all of the resources and all of the modules. But again, the temperature is a bit too low. Uh, this one looks perfect, uh, so that's great. But then, yeah, when you get over here, you're going to see some of them are not perfect at all. Now, I have been told by Taludas that he has managed to make it all perfect, so it is possible. I just gave up, to be honest. <laughs> it was taking a long time, and I, I don't know, I wasn't finding the right combinations. I mean, definitely, as you can see, we are using pretty much the whole circle, right? The whole radius. And we are using all of the modules. So it's not like, you know, I have more modules that I could use. So what we need to do is to make sure that we use them a bit more smartly, making sure that, you know, you have multiple workshops that are on the same modules. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to do it. So now I have one challenge and also one ask. The challenge is, um, I'd love to hear if you've been able to make it perfect. If you have, you know, go into my Discord community. You can find the link in the description below and post your perfect station, right? Your station with 25, that will be all perfect. And then the ask is, if you do want me to try to spend more time on this, to try to fix it, then you need to put it in the comments below. I think, let's say, if there is 10 of you that tells me in the comments below that you want me to fix this, I'll give it another try. Now let's do a tour of the Empire, uh, starting again over here. Just to recap, we do have five of each, so we've unlocked all the five, um, you know, trees, let's say, technology trees, right? We have unlocked and we are using many of the research. For example, you know, we're increasing uh, production of electricity while reducing the goods needed for it, right? Reducing the maintenance for it. Similarly, we're increasing by a lot uh, agriculture. You can see plus 10%, but also we're making uh, wine out of the fruit plantations. We're making 20% less need by the food processors two additional farms on each and many others, right? I'm not going to go through all of them, but this is definitely giving me a lot of bonuses. If I were to take them all out, you will see my money go into negative right away. Probably also, uh, you know, this over here would become all red. You will see a lot of roots that wouldn't be enough. While we're in space, let's continue with the moon, where we have two of the craters that have been developed a bit. The first one is very developed, and it was so developed that we used all of the mines and therefore had to go also to a second one. We have, you know, a lot of fusion reactors, and we're using these ones over here to reduce... Uh, no, sorry, not these ones, these ones here, yeah, to reduce the credit maintenance for them. Right, so that they cost less, but they still produce a lot of energy. Right, we're talking about almost 20,000 of energy, uh, and just using a couple of uh, you know fusion power cells with this. So, this is definitely the great end game production. We have those fusion power cells, by the way, just next door over here. Then we have a huge production of those bio enhancers. It's crazy how much I need for my whole empire, and similarly for the cyber thing circuits right we need a lot here there's a lot of mine as i said right to get in particular uh, a bit of helium for the uh, fusion but mostly you know most of those mines are actually rare earth element right this is where you can get it there's a couple of these engineering institutes as you can see right they're all at 100 percent so sending quite a few astronauts and with one of the research they also create bio enhancers by the way this was one of the last research i unlocked this one over here it creates you know all astronaut training center produce additional goods <laughs> but it was in exchange for more logistic maintenance 
So basically my logistic when I be, when I did that research, my logistic went into red everywhere. And that is why I built then a lot of logistic centers like this, uh, a bit everywhere. But yeah, we have quite a few, right? We have obviously the two tiers uh, of population. What is going on over here? Sorry. Um, the officers, right? We're giving them everything. So pretty proud of the moon and we did the sector project of course it's in this corner there that's giving us quite a lot of um, workforce for free so can't complain and then yeah as i said we also have a second crater on the moon that we have started but it, it's barely developed you know it's gonna go fast but i do want to show it to you in particular i had to put also more astronaut over there we just didn't have enough right um but now we have enough so we're good <laughs> yeah so we have a small city here and quite a few of those mines right uh, to to get uh, some rare uh, materials now, i'm not showing you but i can guarantee you that i'm in the positive right i'm uh, providing definitely enough resources for all of those people there's nobody that's negative so you could run this one for a while and oh, by the way as always I will be providing the save, this save, to all of my YouTube members. If you are YouTube members, you should have access to it on the Discord community. Okay, then let's move to the Arctic. I've actually only this, uh, you know, developed one. We didn't touch the two others. If I wanted to continue developing a bit more, I would definitely need to start another one because you're gonna see this is basically full. There's no more space. <laughs> they we're using, you know, all of the coastal we're using also all of the mountain sites and even the space right there's not a lot of space left we have quite a few again uh, centers i think this is the last one i just added very recently so this is the only one that's not at 100 percent the other one should all be at 100 percent yeah so the arctic is definitely a lot harder with the heat right you need to make sure that there's always heat which means that you have production buildings in the middle of your cities and in particular for the physics, for the training centers of the astronaut, that's making it a bit hard. Um, you know, uh, similar to the other ones, we are now creating these neural interfaces with the other astronauts. So my production of neural interfaces is very high. A cool thing with the Arctic is we have a new tier of population, the geniuses, so tier three. The tier two is a scientist, that's classic, but with the mod, we have tier three, the geniuses. They want obviously very advanced stuff, but we're giving it all. You know, all of my people are getting everything. Uh, we did also the sector project over here, right? This is given some logistics. I don't know what else to tell you. You know, like as I said, all of the islands are pretty much used. There is a bit of space for more population, but that's basically it. So let's move to the tundra because it's also a bit cold there, right? So on the tundra, there is only one there. Right, there's only one kind of re region for it. We have also done the sector project for sure. Oh, why is that? I'm not sure. Oh, the weather is not so great today. <laughs> Can see. So yes, as I was saying, we've done you know the sector project, so we're able to sell and buy things. And yeah, we have also of course quite a few of these. Astronaut centers, what is it? Six different ones, they're all at 100%. We're creating over here some replicators. Okay, interesting. So I could definitely, you know, now that we're making, for example, replicators over here on no interface in the Arctic, I could delete some of my replicators production, make more money, right? Uh, yeah, by the way, I'm yeah, pretty happy. Oh, I was able to make many of these production, you know, in a pretty tight space while nicely organized all right you can see it's pretty co nicely covered good organization i'm proud of it but yeah as i was saying you can see all is in positive not hiding anything very good and we're still making money right and then we have a temperate region we developed uh, the green tide archipelago we made even some synthetics over there, but it's pretty bare. There's not that much there. The main region was Wild Water Bay, right? We did, of course, the sector projects there too. That got us an unlimited production of the Iridium, 
and we can see over here for example this is full 99 okay and yeah you can see on the map this one is also pretty well covered there's still a bit of space on the main island but the small islands they're completely full there's no more space at all we have quite a lot of population here and in particular of investors but we also have some good productions that again i'm pretty happy how well organized they are right some nice layouts as you can see nice layouts nice layouts pretty well organized all of this i'm not gonna go through all of them but these are all of the production of the game we've done them all we've done them all look at this nicely tightly organized and there's a bit more space we could expand if we wanted let me show you again that we're nicely into positive right everything we have overproduction of everything so of course that's a bit of a waste of money but uh, it is mostly because you know i was getting now a lot of bonuses with those things versus before i had to produce everything so yeah it is ladies and gents we have reached level 78 right this is not the maximum you can definitely go a bit higher but it is pretty high it is pretty high um we haven't played really with the stock market we did play with the stock market in my last series for i know 2205 so don't hesitate to check that one yeah, after this oh it's going to space go for it but yeah as i was saying a bit earlier you know, don't hesitate to tell me in the comments below if you want me to continue this series and tell me what you want to see more should we continue developing should i fix the orbital station but yeah, I had a lot of fun, Taludas, huge thanks. Again, you can find the link to his website, but also to his YouTube channel in the video description below. Uh, give him some love because that was really uh, an amazing work, especially for a game that is not so recent, right? It's great to see modders like this to keep it alive. Thank you for watching, smash like button, and I hope to see you next time.